What's up, everybody? Welcome to Winging It, the show with hot takes from your fellow Bulls. I'm your host, Zach Carr, clinical assistant professor in the Department of Communication. In this video series, we'll be covering burning topics from students in the College of Arts and Sciences while we enjoy delicious and unique wings provided to us by campus dining and shops. On this episode, I'm joined by Zanaya Hussein, senior double majoring in international studies and urban and public policy. Zanaya, welcome. Thanks for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm super excited. Absolutely. So today we're going to be chatting about one of those burning questions that I think all of us have. How do we make friends? Whew, big question. All right. But first, let's talk about our wings. We have up first, honey garlic wing. You ready? I think I'm ready. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Are we dipping? I I think I'm okay. I, I think I'm, I'm gonna dip. Thing. I I'm gonna go with the ranch. Oh, I feel like it's anti buffalo, but I'm gonna go with the ranch. Here we go. Okay, you ready? Mmm. I'm a fan. What do you think? I'm a fan. I think I'm I'm excited for the the hot. The hot. Okay. This has got a nice kick to it though. C3 coming in. Mmm. I love it. Okay. Let's talk about making friends. So to set the scenes and I, you came in the year that shall not be named, you know, COVID 2020. Woo. Talk to us a little bit about what it was like making friends, trying to connect with people. I can't even imagine what it was like trying to do that in, in that year. So give us a little insight into what it was like connecting and talking to people, making friends during that time. Yeah, um, it definitely was not what I was expecting of college. I had completely <laughs> different expectations for what my college was gonna look like. So I felt deprived. I was like upset. It's like I didn't have a prom, I didn't have an in-person graduation. Like uh, I had to- right, you know, Coming from high school. Right, so, uh, right. Um, so I think when I first entered college, I like overcompensated a little bit. Like I would <laughs> schedule in office hours. Like it was like part of, like it was another class. Oh, so, I love like, this. To I get connection. <laughs> I was like, I need to know my professors. My yeah. professors need to know me. And right. and I also felt like uh, my professors, they kind of were feeling the same thing as students. Mm -hmm. So it really helped to, I think, build a connection between right. like me and the, the professors that I had classes with. Um, so I like went to all, all of the office hours that were laid out, um, different like Zoom meetings. All of my club meetings were like through Zoom. Whatever um, you could do to try to connect. Yeah, anything. So. And I did. I, I ended up like talking with people in Zoom chat. I met my best friend. We made it, it work. It is possible. I think. It's totally possible. It is possible. I mean, because that's awkward, right? It's hard. You, know, you have all these barriers in front of you. But you know, we adapt, right? We evolve and right. we make it work. And now you're your best friends from that year. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's amazing. Cool. Okay, ready for our second wing? This is <laughs> this is the most buffalo thing we could ever have. <clears throat> and I want to give a shout out <clears throat> to. Um, C3. This is Loganberry Barbecue, if I'm not mistaken. If this is not the most buffalo thing in the entire world, it's their own unique creation. Are you ready? Loganberry Barbecue. Here we go. I'm already messy. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to dip this one. I feel, well, maybe I should just to make sure people don't yell at me for not use, utilizing blue cheese. Okay, here we go. All right, Sanaa. That's not what I was expecting. That is <laughs> Good. I'm not sure what I expected. I absolutely love it. Big fan. What do you think? I'm a fan. I thought it would be like overly sweet. That's what I think of like Loganberry, like a fruit. Right. This has got more of that. But it's, I, yeah. I sense more of the barbecue. Right. The more in barbecue. It, right. Okay. Second question. So we moved past COVID and and having to be online and all the Zoom things. We still have elements of that, but now we're in the classroom. And I think one of the things about classes is there's obviously there's people, and you can can make connections with people in the classroom setting. So have you ever made friends in the in-person class setting? And what are some tips and tricks that you have for students who might be like, hey, I might be interested in trying to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, so a lot of times, especially in your first two years, it's depending on your major, you have a lot of the same students in your class and you start mm -hmm. to recognize people. and. They're also recognizing you, so it is. That's important, by the way. Yes. We we think that they don't, but right. they do. 100%. Right, right. Yep. So it's, you're you're in your head a little bit, and I think embracing that it is kind of awkward. Um, like I, I think we're as students and 
in, I think even when you're in your first two years, but I don't think it ever ends, right? I think even as adults. Yeah, <laughs> a little yeah. awkward, right? Hundred percent. And um, we try to fight that awkwardness. Mm. By, mm. We think, okay, well, it, we, it can't be. Let's not make it awkward. That'll it'll be easier. But I feel like by trying to make it not awkward, it's so much more awkward. Right. So I am a strong advocate of embracing awkwardness. I love so, that. So and like it's like you're nervous, they're nervous too, but. But if we all own it. You're right. Then you can have more authentic interactions with people. There's like group chats for most classes. Mm -hmm. So like being someone who types in the group chat or even like direct messaging someone. But usually like if it's in your major and you're taking classes that you enjoy, students are also going to be maybe interested in those same fields. You might see them at like a club that you're interested in joining and they are too. So if you start to recognize people like Maybe maybe they want to talk to you first, but by you taking the first step, you make it more comfortable for them. Absolutely. I love that. I tell some of my students this all the time. You know, everyone feels awkward. And if we all just kind of acknowledge that going in, we're on the same playing field then. Right. And we can just be like, you're awkward, I'm awkward, let's be awkward together. And then there's a friendship, right? Right. 100%. I love that. Okay. Up next, we kind of get into the classic mild, medium, hot delineation of wings. Are you ready? I think, I think I'm ready. Here we go. I'm not going to dip this in anything. Okay, Zanaya, let's do it. Perfect. I love it. Right. I think that's it's mild. It, it, it's, really it is, is mild. mild. It's mild. It is perfectly mild. I love it. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. Moving on, other ways to make friends. Let's talk about um, clubs, organizations, getting involved. There's a lot at UB that you can do. Because of that, it's kind of a, a double-edged sword where that can be almost overwhelming a little yeah. bit. And it's easier said than done in terms of just like, oh, I'm gonna go join a club. Right. So what's helped you kind of be like, hey, I wanna join that thing and then you actually do it. Mm -hmm. Give us some insight into what that's like. Yeah, I think, so just first and foremost, like ways to find clubs, um, UB Linked is a great mm. resource. All of the clubs that are recognized um, under SA will be on there. All of your meetings will have to be posted there. but. SA, so UB Linked only has clubs that are recognized by SA, so there are lots of other clubs that might be affiliated with the department mm. or through other avenues, right? And they might just, like they're at UB, but you don't know that they exist. So social media is also a great tool, as it is with so many different things. But like your first instinct, I think a lot of times for students is to look up on social media, and I would say that that's absolutely correct. Like follow that instinct, because almost all clubs, like whether or not they're affiliated with SA or through a department, they're most likely going to have a social media so you can find out if they're an active club or not um, and see like what's going on. You have to be brave, go to that first meeting, but yes. the first meeting is honestly the hardest because sure. once you get over that like initial, like maybe intimidation um, or you're just overwhelmed, kind of like, I don't know anyone, it gets easier because like that's where you make the connection. And speaking from like the eboard perspective, like I've been eboard of a club and eboard members are just as nervous as the students coming in. So it's that awkward thing. We all gotta right. own it, right? And once you do, it's like you can genuinely figure out like do you like this? Do you not? There's no commitment. Just show up to the first meeting and if you like it, then come to the next one. If you don't, that's totally fine too. We're on to our fourth wing. Are you ready? This is medium. Let's see what we got. All right. I'm feeling the burn a little. I'm starting to. I love, fun fact about me, I'm very reactive. Like my body physically reacts, but I love the taste of it. I'm starting to feel it. What'd you think? What you expected or no? Um, Ooh, I, give us, let's go. Get the hot take. Um, I, I'm i desi, so we eat curries and uh. this is not the spice. <laughs> you're like Zach. So I'm not gonna, to I, I'm not gonna <laughs> say that it, you know. I love that you're being kind and humoring me. This is great. <laughs> love but it. I mean, like, yeah, like it tastes good. Like spice to me is like, it's an expectation. I will say that the flavor in all of these has yes. been really phenomenal. Great job. Okay, fourth question. Let's talk about you kind of personally, you know, aside from clubs and organizations, there's also just a lot of resources for staying engaged, staying motivated, staying connected on campus. What for you has worked over these past four years? And any tips and tricks you can give students about overall staying engaged and connected? Um, I think that there's a, a couple of resources and they're they're right there too. Like they're not far away. You don't have to take any really additional steps. So I I check my email, maybe this isn't great, but like religiously. Like I'll be going to my car Love in the that. parking lot and I'm like, I don't email it. So a lot of times like that was what I did at, at first. Like it's how you 
a lot of those like email listservs do have great resources. Like I've, I'm in the Honors College listserv and there's so many students that I've talked to who are like, yeah, I'm in this because it was on the listserv. Awesome. I'm in this because it was on, even like awards, right? Like scholarship yeah. opportunities, that's on there. Um, and also, check your email. Right, check your email. It's maybe too basic, but check your email. Check your email. I mean, for classes yeah, too, by the way. For classes too, <laughs> for just different opportunities. Um, and also, I think faculty, like building a relationship with a faculty who you really like or in a class that you really enjoy, that faculties can also serve as mentors. And I think a lot of students. They come in and thinking like this is just like this is a teacher for the class, but they can be so much more than that. Um, especially if they're you know doing research that you uh, might be interested in. I've gotten there's so many opportunities that I've been involved in because it was recommended to me by a faculty mentor. They're able to like put you like get they they know so much more in their sure. field than maybe you do as a student. So, access like, points for you, right? You know? Right. As as a faculty member, I think that's one of the, the tenets of being a helpful faculty member is offering that to students, right? So I love that you said that because that's one of my missions as a professor is I wanna be there to help facilitate opportunities for people because we are those access points. I'd also say your peers. Um, that's really how you stay engaged. So a lot of times our peers are also like, if you don't know like what, like some things that's going on or like what way you need a recommendation for something, a lot of times your peers might be able to like share resources. So I think like sharing knowledge with each other also makes you more informed. And there's also, you, you are a resource yourself. You are an asset to your peers and they're an asset to you. I so like, I think in that sense too, our peers kind of also, they can give like another perspective that maybe your faculty cannot and your faculty can give a perspective that your peers right. can. So I think like we're all kind of a, an access point. Absolutely, and getting as much information as possible, right? I love that. Okay, fifth and, and the hottest, not maybe for you, maybe for me. Here we go, are you ready? Okay, cheers. Okay, good news. I don't feel that much difference mm -hmm. from the medium. But the taste again, right. 10 out of 10. Oh, love it so much. Okay, you ready for the hottest question? Here we go. I love this one. If you could go back, give yourself one piece of advice to first year, first days and I, what would that be? Hmm. It's a big one. It is, it is. I think I've thought about this a lot now that I'm in my last year. <laughs> Who hasn't, right? <laughs> if I can go back in time, yeah. Um, I think I would share with myself that learning is growing. A lot of times we come in as first years or enter college and we think like, I'm just gonna be learning about like material. Like I'm gonna learn what I need to for my exam. But if you are learning about the things that you're interested in, about the resources that are available, about the, the career that you want to pursue, right? Things that you're passionate about, you are growing. So we can't expect ourselves to be the same people we were if we truly have learned. And I think about like where I am now, what I wanna do now, and compare that to the person who just started college, so completely different. And that is okay, because that means that I grew as a person. So I think that's, that's maybe what I would have shared. Maybe I would have calmed my nerves. I wouldn't have put so much pressure. I think a lot of students do that. They have these expectations for themselves. And I think a lot of times that puts us in a box that really doesn't allow us to pivot. No one's path is linear. Um, and so true. It, that's, that's good, because I feel like if your path is not linear, then you can you can truly say that you've like discovered and, and self-explored. So. Absolutely, that's life too, right? And if you can learn that in these college years, it's such yeah. a useful thing to have at your disposal as you go through life. I love that, amazing. Zanaya, thank you so much for this. Thanks for sharing some wings with me and some life advice, really appreciate you. Thank you everybody for tuning in and we will see you on our next episode.